This is my first time in Helsinki, and I have to tell you that my experience at Ebon so far has been amazing, but it's just started, so I don't know. I mean, I, I got to give a talk, and people said nice things, and now we'll find out, but, but so far it's amazing. I mean, I, I, like I said, Helsinki uh, has a, a great reputation, and so far it's surpassing those, its, its reputation, so it's pretty cool. You know, my favorite thing about angel investing is that it's incredibly dynamic. And so if you think about like how it's going to develop and where it's going to go, any answer I tell you will be wrong because it's so dynamic and it's going to change and adapt and evolve so, in so many different ways. All over the world it will be involved in different ways. But at the core, it will become more important because at the end of the day, building companies requires not just sort of capital, but help. And that help really comes from people who have experience and who've been through the process and who can be part of that journey. And so angel investors, you know, in order for technology to continue to grow at the rate that it is going to grow at, we'll need more and more great angel investors to help basically with that process. So um, it's it just going to keep growing, I think. My most memorable angel investment experience is, oh man, I can't really pick. They're all so much fun. Um, you know, at the end of the day, like my first one because in a lot of ways it's like your first love. It just sort of like, it opens your eyes to a reality that you didn't know existed before. And, you know, has all of the ups and downs and pain and agony and wonder and joy that, that like love you get. Um, you know, I'll never forget it. And it, at the end of the day, like what I'm most grateful for is it brought me into this job and this experience and I'll get to do it the rest of my life, I hope. So, um, you know, yeah, amazing. So my advice to startups is very simple. Um, at the end of the day, the most important thing for any startup is basically your delta over the status quo. So over the alternatives in the market. So think about Uber, right? Like, you know, when, if you would have told somebody when Uber first started that like, hey, you can push a button and a car shows up at where you are and it takes you where you're going, you don't even have to pay, uh, you're, it's all done on a credit card. Or you can go basically like call a taxi and maybe wait an hour and it may or may not show up. Which would you prefer? Like. The, the delta is so huge, um, uh, and I think it's one of the decimates, one of the reasons that company works so well. I think with any startup, it's the same thing. It's like, you really have to basically like find that thing that makes you special and better, and, and when you find it, you have magic. And so, for any entrepreneur, it's the search for that that I look for, is like, how do you, you know, how do you find it as an entrepreneur, and then how do I, as an investor, help you find it, and then help you build it?